Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today I'm super excited to talk to you about some new products from Refer. Ooh, I love Refer brushes. These are my workhorse brushes and they have five new brushes along with some other cool things happening in the Refer concept store. They're not just brushes anymore. So I want to talk about all of it. I have everything linked below. It's really exciting when Refer comes out with new brushes and there's five at once. I'm looking at them here on my table. They're kind of dirty now because I used them all in the demo. We're going to talk about each brush and what it does while we demonstrate it. I just think that's a seems a more logical way to do it. So we'll get to that. But I want to talk to you about some other things because I think Refer should have, I'm not on their marketing team, but I honestly think it should be like Refer. We're not just brushes anymore. I mean, I love their brushes. They're absolutely my workhorses. I use and abuse them, I admit it. And they take a licking and keep on ticking. <laughs> um, I just really, really, really love them. I wash them more than I should. I use them probably more than I should. I toss them around, I throw them in my bag and they just keep going and I absolutely love them. But Refer has been expanding. So Refer has a concept store, right? If you're not familiar with Refer brushes, they are artisanal Japanese brushes, um, but the company is based in Toronto. They have been expanding their line. For instance, Refer came out with an eyelash curler that has quickly replaced, I used to only use the Surratt eyelash curler, and I love Surratt, but once I tried the Refer, I tossed that one over my shoulder. I did, and now I only use the Refer. So they're capable of so much more, and I want to talk to you about some other products they're coming up with. But Refer crowdsources their information. So you can go into their concept store, get significant savings. So these brushes I'm going to tell you about now that are linked below are 50% off, which we're going to talk about in a moment, and a lot of other things. And all they ask for, if you would please, is some feedback. What do you think of them? What do you think needs to change? How do you think they're great? How do you think they can use some work? And then they reformulate the brushes before they go into mass production and wide availability and the prices go up a little bit. Fair enough. It's a great way to get an artisanal Japanese goat hair, undyed goat hair brushes. Um, really, really beautiful ones. Oh, I'm so passionate about these um, at incredibly good prices. Okay, so we're going to talk about that. I will tell you this though. I will tell you that these brushes are normally $150 and the set of five that we're going to talk about in a moment are right now, right now if you get them on the concept store, they're $75, which is pretty darn good for artisanal, um, you know, quality, high quality handmade brushes. I mean, my goodness. Okay, but let's talk about some of the other products. As I said, they're not just brushes anymore. There's that sensational eyelash curler. If you haven't found one, that works, try that one. But there's also a few items, some of which are kind of being looked at. I am playing with all of these, and some of these are on the concept store. I'm going to tell you what's what. The first is the Gentle Cleanser. I love this baby. I use this as the first step in my cleansing routine. This is um, has a slightly acidic nature to it, but I don't mean that in any bad way. It's really like that because the formula kind of maintains skin balance that way, kind of pH balances it out. So it doesn't sting or feel like that. There's no scent to it, all sorts of good ingredients in it, and it comes separately. The little plunger top here comes separately, so you take off the top, put it together. Really beautiful, and like I said, I use this as the first step. Now, at its regular price, it's $26, which isn't bad for high-end skincare, um, but you can get it right now in the concept store for $13. A cleanser for $13 a good cleanser for $13. Amazing. Um, the hydration cream. Now this one is currently gone. Um, currently not in the concept store, but hopefully it will be coming back soon. Um, I want you to watch for this. This, um, this is like the way they do this on the, um, concept stores, you can pay MSRP, Manufacturer Suggested Retail, or you can pay what you think is appropriate to pay to test it out. It's a Korean formula um, with skincare ingredients. Right now it's sold out. I have been using and playing with this. It's really beautiful and moisturizing. And it comes with, what I really love, you know, with these tubes, it comes with this little bottle here, this metal thing. And this is just a little, let me show it to you like that. And then you can insert the tube into it and roll it up better to get all the product out. So you really get your money's worth $26 full price, $13 on the concept store. Watch for this to come back. It's beautiful. And they've gotten so much good feedback that they've actually done an intense hydration cream. This one for super dry skin or for someone like me, I've been playing with this at night. Um, they're testing now. This will work under makeup even. So if you want to use it in the day or night use. And this hydration formula also works well under makeup, meaning they don't pill. Um, 
They don't cause the makeup to slide around. They're kind of made to go under makeup, which I wish all skincare. Sometimes skincare just concerns itself with skincare, which is great. But if you're putting makeup on over it, and we all are. And then here's something that they sent out to me. They were kind enough to send all of this out. So I want to thank Refer if I didn't at the beginning. Um, this is the um, Rebalancing Essence. So this is actually an essence. Uh, like a toner and I've been playing with this too so this will be on there soon I didn't see it on the site but it's coming soon and I'm playing with it and testing it I haven't had these enough I have been I had the these creams I had ordered those and I already was a fan of the the cleanser this guy I just got so I've been playing with the brushes I washed because you should really wash your natural hair brushes brushes and then started using them so it's other than that so some of these products are new to me and I'll keep using them but check this out while these things are are inexpensive on the uh, con in the concept store and use my link below to get there. I want to show you all of these eye and face brushes, all five of them, and let's use them as we talk about them to recreate this look that you see right here. Stay right there. Okay, we are going to talk about these brushes while we use them. I think that's a more effective use of our time together. So we're going to go a little bit out of order because I'm going to do the eyes first and then the face. And today uh, we are going to use the Charlotte Tilbury, one of the new um, beautifying face palettes, the light medium, um, because when I reviewed these, I reviewed both palettes and I um, made the main look the medium or darker one, medium to deep. So we'll use this uh, fair to light to medium. Is that it? Fair to medium as our main one here. Yes, there are no eyeshades in here, but this is actually my favorite look. And a lot of you guys ask me what makeup I wear or what I would wear if I weren't on YouTube or weren't. It's just kind of a blush face palette on the eyes too. So I figured we would do that today. Okay, let's talk about these brushes and use them as we go. The first one we're going to use and talk about is the new, brand new 33. Um, the 33 is probably really made for me. Look at it. It's kind of flat and fluffy at the same time. And Refer says that it's a combination of their brush number one, right here and number two. So here are the one and the two. And the reason I said these are made for me, if you've been with my channel uh, a while, you'll know that I never have the one or the two out of my hand. Pretty much in every single demo I ever do, I use the one and the two. And this is a combination of both of them. It's a little, so it's got the floofiness of the one and the flatness of the two, which is pretty darn cool. So let's go ahead and start with using this brand new 33 brush. It's kind of, they call it their one and done brush. And yeah, I'm just gonna go in right here to this shade here, which is obviously a blush shade. And I'm just going to put it all over my eyelid um, in a kind of a sweeping motion. So this for me would be a brush that could blend. And look, it's so, um, comes to such a point there that you could even use it under the eyes, which I'll do in just a moment. So let's just put on this blush kind of all over the lid. And I'm just being crazy with it because it's this is the uh, fair to medium. So you know you can get away with a little bit more. The colors aren't so dark. And I'm actually going to take the tip of this brush. Look at this. Talk about one and done. And put that same shade just right underneath. You could also use the flat tip to put some color, pack some color onto the edges of the eye. I'm already loving this one. I'm already loving this one. Okay, that was the first of the new shades that were uh, the new brushes. That was number 33. Number 34 is an interesting little guy. This is the smaller, smallest liner brush that Ruffer have has ever made, and <laughs> probably that anyone's ever made. Look at this, the control this gives you. It, is that even showing up? I don't know how to even see that. It's like one little bristle. It's more than that, but you know, that's what it feels like. So I'm going to line with it. I have hooded eyes. There's a brush coming up here for my hooded eyes. I have hooded eyes, so I don't usually line on the lid, but with this I can. So let's go into our deeper of the two blush shades here in the Charlotte palette. And let's just go ahead and line with it. And I'm just shutting the eye. You're really supposed to line your eyelid with your eye open, but I'm not. <laughs> Do as I say, not as I do. And I'm just kind of putting a little bit of color just around the eye. Wow, that's precise. But you could still kind of wing it out a little bit if you wanted to. Those of you who like to do a wing liner, dip into a wet, you could dip into a, a kind of like one of those melt shadows or those cream shadows and really do a really beautiful wing liner. I'll speed it up while we do the other eye. Wow, that, re 
That's some serious amounts of control. I think even I could do a wing liner with this, not joking. All right, skipping, we'll skip the 35 for now because we're going to use that on the face. Let's go to the 36. This is the one I was telling you guys about that kind of really works for hooded eyes. It's kind of a multitask blending shadow brush. It's a bigger eye brush. Don't be afraid of bigger eye brushes. I don't have... I don't have particularly big or particularly small eyes. And you can use these especially to blend. You can also use this to blend out concealer. We're not doing that today, but you easily could put some concealer under, or if you had a blemish, you could use this one for number 36 really easily for concealer. We're gonna use it today to just kind of put a little bit of this in. Look what we're gonna do today. We're gonna multitask this little guy by going into this deeper shade and putting the deeper shade kind of here. Look at this. You know what else I could use this for? Have you ever had a little bit, it ends up looking a little bit sharp. So I'm just putting a darker shade. We're gonna do something else with it in a moment too. But if you've ever had kind of a, feel like there's too much of a line and you just wanna kind of blend a little bit, you could take this guy clean or flip it over, look, because the other side really didn't get anything on it. And you can just kind of, I'll do that now, take this other side, and you can just kind of blend. See, and it just erases any harsh lines or anything you don't want to kind of soften up your look, which is what I just did. And then I'm gonna take the same one and go into this, um, which is just a highlighter, and I'm just gonna put that, place that highlighter, just kind of pack it on there, not getting any fallout or anything, onto the lid. And I'm doing all this with a blush palette and these very specific, uh, brushes and that's a really pretty eye look and really easy super simple with those three brushes let's step back a little bit let's go back to the number 35 that's this one here this is a really small face brush this number 35 right here um, let me just show you it here you could use this on the eyes honestly you guys there's no rules but Raffer is calling it a face brush I'm just using it the way they say but you know go ahead and do your thing right okay so this is a really small face brush. This will do precision blending. This could do contouring. I'm not a real contour person, but you could. Um, it could do highlight, blush. You could do a little bit of blush here, especially, um, you know, Charlotte Tilbury, speaking of Charlotte, has the um, swish and pop shade in the middle there. So what I'm gonna do, actually, is I'm gonna go ahead and take the other shade that we didn't use on the eyes right here, and I'm gonna highlight with it. So let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take this and kind of paint I don't like to paint around in a C. I think it gives you like, like you're wearing a mask. I don't like that look. So for me, this is really nice to just be able to just go right there and then separately a little bit above the brows and a little bit down the nose. Maybe the cupid's bow. Try not to get lip gloss on it. <laughs> Usually you put your lip gloss on last, right? And I really like how that did a precise, if you are a contourer, you could use that contour the nose with this guy, and you could do the eyes as well. Very, very pretty. These brushes are all super duper versatile. Don't be thrown off by those fatter brushes for the eye. Um, they just, they, they might be chubby, but they kind of, the way that they're constructed, they still work in those crevices and corners around the eye. And then we have brush number 37. That's this guy right here. This is the last of the five new brushes. It's just kind of a little petite little cheek brush. You could use it for blush bronzer. You could actually um, use this for foundation too, if you wanted to, um, because it is undyed goat hair, that would be great for a liquid. So that would be nice too. This guy is particularly soft. In fact, it's one of the softest brushes that Refer has ever made. Um, if you're feeling it and noticing it, it is noticeably super duper soft. And I'm gonna use that, that main shade that we put as the base to my eye look, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on, that same shade on with this. Now it's a gentle shade, so I'm going right into it nice and fully. And then I'm just gonna put that on here. I don't really have to overdo it. I'm just going over the highlighter we did, why not? So that they just kind of incorporate into one shade. And I'm using this cheek brush to do it. I like this. I don't have particularly small um, cheeks. As I said once, and I'm not, putting myself down, but most of my face is cheek. I have very, very little forehead. Some of you guys um, have a larger forehead and smaller cheeks. This would be great for small cheeks, but I am mostly cheek, and this works really well for me. Just to let you know, okay? And I'm even gonna come across here. This would be really nice for bronzer, could be used for contour as well. And again, concealer, foundation, anything like that, this would work really well for it. Um, beautiful, beautiful brushes and super, super, 
versatile. So I hope that kind of helped. I just wanted to use a simple palette so that the brush, the brushes became more of the star of the show and you saw how they worked. Um, remember that now they're kind of testing these and the deal with refer is that you test them and then you can give them back some feedback and they hope that you would, I hope that you would. I can't imagine that you wouldn't want to be part of the process, but you can get all five of those right now in the concept store, and I have that all linked below, for $75 instead of $150. The amazing thing about um, these Japanese hair brushes is they are artisanal, they're made in small batches, and so they can be scarce and they can be expensive. And I love the way Ruffer does this, where it gives kind of everybody a chance at them to get it for 50% off before or they're added to the full lineup and they go full price. So uh, I think you would be very pleased. My refer are my everyday workhorses, as I think I said, uh, and I can't live without them. And I mean that you'll see them in almost every single one of my videos, um, real true workhorses. And I have a great love for the company and a great love for the product. So definitely give them a try. I, I have my link below um, that would support this channel as well as supporting refer. Just amazing, beautiful brushes. And I thank them so much for sending these out to me to try. They are already beloved and I've washed them once and used them once and that's it. <laughs> Alright, let me know your thoughts or any questions that you have down below. If you need one of these brushes compared to another brush, even cross brand, just let me know. I'm happy to do that for you over on Instagram. I'd love to have you come say hi on Instagram and TikTok too. Definitely. Um, if you haven't already done so, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that we can continue to grow. And if you enjoyed this video, I sure hope that you did. Give it a thumbs up. I hope to see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.